Warm welcome back to the show. I'm Lisa and the 26 ways to draw a letter is a show that is entirely brought to you by Secura and Secura only. So thank you guys over at Secura for making this happen. Now we're hitting the letter V. Okay, two diagonal lines basically. Kind of a pointy angle. So let's see what we can do about that in 26 different ways, okay? Grab your pens, a piece of paper, or print the practice sheet link below. Take a deep breath, ditch perfection. So the size 8 and size 12 are the secure pigment microphones are my go-to's for today. And this is what we're going to work with, okay? Two diagonal lines and a pointy angle. Um, first, I'm thinking that we could make one of these V's where the one half is much thicker. Can you see how like off balance that made it? gonna add an extra line there not helping okay let's move on to something softer a softer more rounded bottom and oh almost looks like um, a saxophone right <laughs> just needed to add some buttons and stuff uh, okay so a ribbon V is coming up there and going hmm okay I'm gonna do it a little bit easier by not twisting the ribbon here uh, at the bottom so I'm just gonna let it point right there and go up and then the twist will happen here in the loops if you want to do it with an extra dimension you could of course twist the ribbon right at the bottom too um, and just to enhance that there has been like a turning of the ribbon I'm coloring some parts of it making it black so you can see that that is the back of the ribbon and we'll script V coming up here and then I'm going basic like just ordinary kind of wide B let's color that one and it is without the pointy angled bottom like that and now I'm thinking we could make one that is even much bigger, heftier there. That is also some kind of V that is almost like a square. Um, a rounded V that will cast a long, long shade. Or shadow so the thing is we need them all to be in the same angle starting with that one not quite the same angle but almost that one yeah and then tying them together there and there hmm yeah, something like that. And filling them in. I can see that I, I haven't done that one very good. No, I have not. The left side of the letter is lower than the right side. And thus should the shade also be lower and wow. 
I'm filling it in anyway because we embrace all imperfections and just going with the flow here. So there. Yeah. And perhaps I should have rounded. Well, never mind. Okay, let's move on. This will be fun. I'm thinking like two droplets or petals or whatever going there and the tricky part is to get this one symmetrical yeah I'll do um, okay so let's make another very easy ribbon V so both sides are equally thick there and once more to enhance the ribbon thing is to color one part of it and this time I'm not filling it in with black but just trying the lines with the size 8 here so I was thinking about the black V that I did up in the red corner and maybe we can do something similar where the parts hardly even touch like that it's like two books that are leaning slightly away from each other and now playing with serifs i'm thinking we could make them sort of wavy yeah like that and let's make them a little bit thicker like that and there Obviously, I need to fill it in. Hmm. And now, since I was in two books leaning away from each other, I'm thinking about more uh, stuff that could turn into a V. Like two trees. So here are two palm trees. Uh, there. <laughs> Let's stop and think for a second. Uh, yeah, and grabbing the size eight here to just make the some lines on the stems here. Perhaps I should add some grass too. Yeah, here's a little bit of grass. Right, palm tree V. Okay, moving on with, I'm thinking that this could be like a block letter, but with a pointy end. So first I'm making this rather slim block letter and then I want to dress it up in one more layer. There. And another very famous V, or should I say V sign. Is probably this one. and here is a V with one I'm thinking that this could have like one rather harsh dark side and the other one this one is I don't know flowers or something gonna grab the size 8 here So I'm just going to 
make this one a flowery and this one will represent this letter will represent the dualities in life <laughs> where one part is the dark the more stiff and serious side and this side is all creative and colorful except we don't have any colors but you know that it's all black and white here and nature right so let's make the difference bigger by making it black as well so there's a duality V um one that is a little bit softer. Ooh, you know what this looks like? It, it looks like the gi a giant cliff, you know? So I'm just going to add two tiny people here standing on each side. Just to illustrate the distance between them. Um, so this V is actually... Um, ice cream cone. Yep, there you go. Uh, okay, so a smallish one with a little loop. What? Um, let's see, like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't much of a loop. Um, and a pointy, rather uneven and unsymmetrical V. And let's just enhance the uneven th theme here by adding a lot of lines to make it look more abstract. And there. Mm, another V that came to mind was the one you do when you check off your boxes on your to-do list. Right? A good one. There's a V. Mm, and I also thought about this. And guess what this is? What kind of V is this? Well, it is a upside down pair of pants kind of V. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just let's just leave it there. A little button, too. Okay. Um, I'm still irritated by that mini, mini loop. I did a couple of these back, so I'm going to make a bigger one like that. Just to like <laughs> get some peace of mind. Hmm. A V with that kind of ending I guess serif but in the shape of a round circle sorry about the lightning and the focus here bear with me please it's the joys of always working with natural light um yeah so this kind of V, it's almost like it's tipping over, falling right to the right. A softer, smoosher V heading your way right now. That could be like a rabbit, but I won't. I won't, but just if, 
if you feel like it, you could turn that into a rabbit's face. Um, remember the balloons? So here is the V edition of a balloon, and now I only have one more left. Okay, quick. This V is made up of two arrows. So to come up with new letter forms of the letter V, you really just have to draw two straight figures in an angle, and that is your V. So this letter is easy to elaborate. Just gonna draw a few thinner lines here. And that marks letter number 27. No, 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 27, 26. Okay, 26 different versions of the letter V. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.